for you. History in Detroit as Mike Duggan is elected mayor. He has a long road ahead, expected to lead in a city facing bankruptcy and a high crime rate. And while he is yet to be sworn in, the mayor-elect is already, they say, hard at work meeting with city and state leaders. 7 Action News reporter Smitha Koloki spoke with Duggan today and shows you what is on his agenda. He's Detroit's first white mayor in 40 years, but don't tell Mike Duggan that. He says it was never the focus and never should be. I resent the whole white mayor tour. Uh, I, I, I've resented it from the beginning, and uh, people in this city got past it almost a year ago. While the nation looks at a white man leading a predominantly black city, Mike Duggan says Detroit has problems that see no color, and the work to fix them begins now. In the next 48 hours, the mayor-elect will meet with Governor Rick Snyder, Mayor Dave Bing, and emergency manager Kevin Orr. Just because you're against the emergency manager doesn't mean you don't talk to them. Speaking to reporters at his campaign headquarters, Duggan said his first step is to establish relationships, like with his former law school colleague, Kevin Orr. When we graduated, he went to uh, Miami and I came to Detroit. I still haven't figured out how he ended up running Detroit before I did, but that's the, uh, the way it's, uh, it's come out. But uh, we're going to get reacquainted, and uh, we need to build a relationship. The former DMC CEO is also forging ties nationally. Nice message from Vice President Biden, uh, who's uh, indicated the White House is looking to be fully supportive. But Detroit City Council and the mayor's office have often had a tumultuous relationship, marred by political bickering. And I'm not saying we're not going to disagree. Mayors and councils disagree all the time. But I think you're going to find us handle it in a much more adult manner than has been handled in the past. Some Detroiters glaze over the mayor's office, saying his position pales in the shadow of the emergency manager. But Duggan sees his role different from Orr's. We're going to see if we can't come up with some division of responsibilities where we work together, and, and I hope we can, and we're going to see if that works out. Even so, to some extent, Duggan's hands are already tied. Just ask him when he'll know who's on his administrative team. Once I know from the governor and the emergency manager whether I will be authorized to actually extend job offers. Duggan hopes to have some of those questions answered by next week. From Detroit's east side, Smitha Koloki, 7 Action News. Uh,